grain mill operator introduction to food grain milling process let us see the broad steps involved in the food grain milling process reception preliminary cleaning and storage food grains arrive at mill elevators by truck rail barge or ship and are transferred by conveyors to the elevator head house preliminary cleaning occurs prior to storage after cleaning the wheat is conveyed to storage bins as grain is needed for milling it is withdrawn from the storage elevator and conveyed to the mill area cleaning in the mill area grain is first sent through a cleaning operation this section of a mill is called the cleaning house in the cleaning house dust and smaller pieces of foreign material are removed from the grain impurities are removed from grain based on size specific gravity shape air resistance and inherent differences in material example metal stone tempering or conditioning modern milling practices utilize conditioning or tempering before the grain is ground this involves adding water to grain to raise the moisture of hard grain after moisture is added the grain lies in tempering bins or drying units for desired hours tempering softens or mellows the endosperm making it easier to grind milling the milling of grain to flour is done with a series of roller mills the roller milling system comprises of break rolls and reduction rolls the surface of the break roll is corrugated whereas surface of the reduction roll is smooth in the break rolls the barn is cracked and the kernel is opened after each break the mixture of free bran free endosperm free germ is passed through the next break roll while the middle sized endosperm called middlings are sent to the reduction rolls for grinding of free millings into proper flour size packaging storage and shipment of finished product packaging the end product is a work intensive processing step and hence automated as much as possible in europe north america and australia the majority of milling products are filled into trucks as a bulk product in latin america africa and asia bagging into open mouth or valve bags is predominant these bags are filled and palletized the pallets are then transferred to the warehouse from where they are loaded onto road vehicles for dispatch transfer of the finished product to storage bagging or bulk loading is generally done by pneumatic conveying systems bulk storage capacity varies widely but mostly mills have bulk flour storage from 2 to 4 days of production tools and equipments used in the milling process the equipment used in a commercial milling unit are milling separator this machine is used for the efficient separation of large coarse material and small fine materials such as grit during the serial cleaning process closed circuit aspirator the closed circuit aspirator provides for the efficient controlled separation of light impurities from cereals three inlet options enable a standalone application as well as compatibility with a milling separator or a sourcing machine the closed circuit aspirator is either installed at the grain intake point or integrated into the serial cleaning system gravity selector and destoner this machine is used for cleaning a wide variety of products such as wheat maize rice nuts and pulses the machine not only gives a destoning separation 
but also provides a separation of heavy and light product streams. Color sorter Color sorter is used for optical sorting of food products. Paddy Huska The Huska removes husk from the paddy. It includes vibratory feeder, timing belt drive, new aspiration system and a built-in access platform for roll changing. Paddy Separator The paddy separator removes paddy from husk paddy, which goes back for husking. Whitener The machine provides a high-quality clean finish to the rice. The milling effect may be enhanced by utilizing water polishing, which is an option on this unit. A built-in turbo fan helps to further improve the appearance of the rice and keep the milling chamber clean under demanding operating conditions. Polisher. It gives a translucent appearance to the rice with the application of fine water mist prior to polishing. Rotary Sifter. This machine can sift milled rice efficiently in many grades. Thickness or Width Separator. This machine is widely used at various large-scale rice mills, seed processing plants and grain or bean processing plants to produce high-quality products because it can separate broken grains and immature grain easily and efficiently. Length Grader The length grader is indented cylinder-type machinery that separates one or two kinds of broken or shorter grains from whole grain by length. Grain Mill Operator's Job in Milling Process A grain mill operator is involved in the following stages of milling process. Pre-cleaning and destoning of grain when grain comes into the mill, it contains foreign material such as straw, weed, seeds, soil and other inert material. If this is not removed prior to hulling, the efficiency of the huller and the milling recovery are reduced. A grain mill operator performs the following task at the pre-cleaning stage. Weigh the grains and transfers to the rotary screen cleaner graders for cleaning. Changing the screens of the rotary screen cleaner graders. Operate the blowers or suction fan and set and maintain speed of the cleaner. Adjust the speed of the destoner. Conditioning or tempering process. Conditioning is a process of adding water to the grains. This is done to allow maximum extraction of flour out of them. A grain mill operator performs the following tasks at the conditioning stage. Maintain water level and time of the conditioner. Turn valves to allow steam through lines. Observe gauges to ensure temperature and moisture content conforms to standards. Examine and feel the discharged material. Drying process. Drying of grains is necessary before storing them. Drying can be done in various ways like natural drying, dry ration, in storage cooling, heated air drying, etc. A drain mill operator adjusts controls of the dryer to set the temperature and time to dry the conditioned grain. The drying temperature depends upon factors like Length of the storage, moisture content, type of grain dryer, end use of the grain. Husking process. Grain mill operator performs the following tasks at the husking stage. Operating husker to remove husk from the grain by adjusting the rollers. Operating aspirator by controlling the speed of the aspirator fan to separate dehusked grains and remove husk. Polishing A grain mill operator performs the following task at the polishing stage. 
operating white and polisher machines. Control the stream of air passing through the cylinder to cool the grain and to blow off the bran. Grinding process A grain mill operator performs the following tasks during the grinding process. Operating grinders to reduce the size of processed grain. Manipulate grinding rollers using hand tools. Routing grain to various grinders and sifters. Manipulate machinery by feeling the grain and ensuring that the grain is processed in accordance with specifications. Packaging process A grain mill operator performs the following tasks during the packaging process. Operate conveyors and elevators to transfer processed grain to packing machine. Operate packaging machinery by setting the batch code, date coding and filling quantity etc. Assess the weight of the packaged product to ensure the conformance to standards. Packaging and Storage Packaging material used in grain milling industry Based on the requirement, there are different ways in which milling products are packaged or stored. Let us take a look at some of the storage techniques and packaging materials used in the food grain industry. Silos A silo is a structure for storing bulk materials. Silos are used in agriculture to store grain or fermented feed known as silage. Silos are more commonly used for bulk storage of grain, coal, cement, carbon black, wood chips, food products and sawdust. Sacks or bags. These include HDPE or PP woven bags, jute or hessian sacks, multi-layered paper bags. These bags are specially designed for food grain packaging. Liners are for better sealing, to restrict moisture and other impurities, dirt, etc. Boxes Cardboard boxes are generally used for retail packaging. Once the cereal or flour has been sealed into a sack or a bag, the risks of contamination by insects, dust and microorganisms are reduced but not eliminated. Incorrect storage conditions such as exposure to sunlight, heat and water can all result in spoilage. Stock rotation system like FIFO and FEFO are applied. FIFO, first in first out, is a stock rotation system that dispatches processed food depending on the order in which it is produced. FEFO, first expired, first out, is a stock rotation system wherein products that need to be consumed earlier are shipped first. Roles and Responsibilities of Chief Miller Let us now take a look at the roles and responsibilities of Chief Miller. Handle raw material from post-harvest storage to the process line. Check raw material for quality. Ensure grains are free from dirt, debris, foreign matter, glass and insects. Ensure minimum loss of raw material. Record keeping and documentation. Document and maintain records of raw materials, production schedule and process parameters. Finished product. Maintenance of hygiene and sanitation. Adopt safety and sanitation related measures. Follow food safety norms and practices. Inspect machines and troubleshoot issues. Ensure smooth operation of machinery to complete production line. 
optimize the use of machinery. Attend to minor repairs of tools and machinery when required. Ensure that safety rules and regulations are observed. Prevent accidents. Plan and execute the milling process. Examine products at different stages of milling. Adhere to good manufacturing practices. Ensure the products meet the quality standards set by the organization. Follow storage and packaging norms. Ensure safe and proper storage of raw material, packing material, and finished goods. Let us now summarize the roles and responsibilities of Chief Miller. 